I'm hey guys how are you well I told you I was gonna go live to do just a quick five ten minute makeup look for those of you that are on the go and don't have a whole lot of time hey guys I'm doing my makeup and I'll be there in a second they want to go to Starbucks I promised them that if I did this <coughs> and they would be good that I would take them to Starbucks so anyway hey guys good morning Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you guys had a wonderful Merry Christmas. <clears throat> Give me a thumbs up if you guys had a wonderful Christmas. Just waiting for some of you to come on. Good morning, good morning. I can't believe it's over. I'm so, so sad. You guys, <coughs> excuse me, I have like a frog in my throat. <clears throat> good morning. You guys, I normally leave all my Christmas decor up till like the 5th or 6th of January and there was something this year, I just, we just took it down. Because to be honest with you, when I look at it, it makes me depressed because I know that it's over. So it's like, I just need to get it down. We need to start fresh and um, everything's clean and it looks so bare, right? Doesn't it look so bare around your house? <coughs> Excuse me, everyone's so sick. My son has had the flu. He's now better, he's on the up and up. So he's like, I wanna do something today. I'm like, I know. How many of you are like, you don't know what to do with yourself between Christmas and New Year's? It's like this huge break um, for two weeks with your kids home and it's just like, all you wanna do is like sleep in and watch movies and just relax, right? Well, anyway, it's the new year, it's coming and I hope you guys have your new year goals together. I'll be doing something on goal setting and getting ready for the new year and having the most powerful 2019 ever. I'll do that in a few days. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys just like a quick little look that I'll do. I do it pretty much three to five times a week when I don't have a whole lot of time. And I counted the products and it was exactly 12. So what I'll do is I'll link some of the products after this and you can either purchase from your beauty consultant or if you don't have one, I'm your girl, all right? So really quickly, I love this cream eyeshadow. I think it's great. It's used as a great eye primer. And plus it just kind of gives your eyes just a little bit of a glow. You know, sometimes as we age, we get um, broken blood vessels, a little bit of unevenness. And what I love about this is it's water resistant, crease resistant. So you can either take your hand or just a little brush. And <clears throat> remember, this is just a quick look. All right, so you're just gonna put it all over your eyelid and it just kind of pops a little bit and it allows the eyeshadow to adhere to the skin okay yes give me the love give me the hearts and if you use Mary Kate tell me the product that you love most so you're just gonna put that all over kind of just press it into the eye and like I said you can use um, a sponge a little sponge tip applicator you can use your fingers I always say use your fourth finger because it's your most gentle finger and we want to prevent wrinkling. Oh, hello from Germany. That's awesome. I have some German in me for sure. My last name's Vigant, right? It's a tough one. <laughs> Imagine spelling it, right? It's always misspelled. Okay, so you're just going to put that all over. Your favorite product is the eyelash firmer? Yeah. It's awesome. Okay, so again, I use hundreds of products, but I'm just doing this quick little look <clears throat> that you can do if like you're going to work or you're a mom on the go. Now, Mary Kay came up with the new Chroma Fusion eyeshadow, and this is my palette. I know, you can tell which ones I love the most. And so I really have grown a liking to, it's called Cashmere Haze. And it's just like a great every day. So I just take a blending brush into the cashmere haze and you're just gonna get right in the corner there and just start blending. This takes a lot of guts to come on without makeup. Makeup makes you feel so much better and put together, right? So yeah, you're just going to go in the outer corner Blend from the outer corner in. You always want to put your darkest color on the outer corner. If you put it on the inside, it's going to enclose your eye. I have more close set eyes, so I want to put more darkness on the outside. See how it's just kind of um, 
popping in a little bit and I have like, I have blue eyes, but it's weird. My eyes have looked green lately. I don't know what it is. So I feel like my eyes have changed and my first and third child were born with blue eyes and now I feel like they've turned green. It's really weird. So I wear a lot of plums too. So, but this is just a great everyday cashmere haze. I love it. So pretty. It's like a grayish brown. And I think it really looks good on everybody. So what is like your favorite product? Like if you had to take like one product with you somewhere, what would it be? What would it be if you had to take one thing with you and that's it? <clears throat> what would it be? It would be really hard for me. Really, really hard for me. So again, it's all about the blending, you guys. You want good brushes and you want to clean your brushes once a week. And um, you just want to blend as much. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Can you believe that 2018 is almost over? Hope that you guys are living it up these last few days and just organizing your house and getting your Christmas stuff organized and put away and getting your goal posters and vision boards done. House clean, ready for a powerful 2018. I could go and play on and on and on with my eyes forever. But again, you're just doing like circular little motions, outer corner in. I like to go a little bit on the outside. And again, this is not a dramatic look. It's just a quick mommy look, okay? So I used Beach Blonde Cream Eyeshadow with the Cashmere Haze as the darker color. And then I'm gonna take our Luminous um, Foundation in Beige 3. And you would think I would be darker, but actually when you have freckles, you wanna match your darkest freckle. So yes, I could use an Ivory 6 for sure, but because I want just a little bit of color and I do have freckles, I wanna match that. So I know it's crazy. I wore the wrong foundation for years. And what I love about this foundation, it just gives you a little bit of a glow and it doesn't look cakey or heavy. And I use a foundation brush to put this on, but you can use your hands, you can use your sponge um, or a foundation brush. We have an awesome one. Just put a little bit more for these imperfections this morning. And what I love about our Mary Kay foundation, it has all the same age finding ingredients that's in our skincare. So I love our TimeWise 3D product. You know, if your skin's not in shape, your color will not go on well at all. So you can put on as much color as you want on your face. And if you don't take care of your skin, it really doesn't matter because your skin is gonna be with you forever. So if you're not using a good skincare regimen, you wanna use the TimeWise 3D. It's amazing. It brightens the skin um, and just really is just a quick, easy program to use morning and night. And it's affordable too, and it's awesome. So again, just blending downward. You always wanna go downward with your strokes because even most of us have hair on our face, a little bit of hair. Okay, so I did the foundation and we have a matte wear foundation. I just did the luminous because I want a little bit of a glow right now because you know, it's a little cooler for most of us in the world, but our cold is like 70, 68 to 72 degrees in Miami. I know we're so lucky. So anyway, I'm gonna use this, um, <clears throat> you can use an under eye corrector. This one is light ivory because I'm so fair. I tend to like to go a little bit lighter for highlighting and I just do on my hair an upside down triangle. You're gonna take a beauty blender, just damp it a little bit. And I'll attach my website at the end if there was any product that you absolutely loved or if you wanted the whole look. Sorry. We make the funniest faces when we put on makeup, right? So see how it just kind of brightened everything? So if you have really dark circles, then I would use the under eye corrector. I don't actually have a lot of other flaws, but I do not have dark circles. Um, but I use the light ivory concealer. Okay, that's that. Then just real quickly, I'm going to put on some bronzer. 
just to kind of contour a little bit. If you don't know where to put on your bronzer, you can do like a backwards E. And you kind of have to play with it because it can look dirty if you know, don't know what you're doing. So sometimes I'll use like a beige to um, press powder, but I'm just doing one of our regular bronzers. And I'm just going a little bit under the cheekbone, up here. And by no means am I a makeup artist at all. At all. Um, I've just played in makeup for a long time. I literally was born playing with makeup. I love it. <clears throat> and you just wanna highlight those areas where the sun would hit. And I actually do it before powder so that the powder will blend We'll blend everything together a little bit by the nose and again I'm going really fast because I'm trying to show you guys but yeah so a good rule of thumb is just like a backwards E and I love this um, <clears throat> bronzer blending brush it's a pro contour blush blush brush by Lori Hogue awesome she gave it to me as a gift it was amazing and then I'm going to use our Ivory Two Mineral Powder, or you can just use translucent powder. I'm just gonna blend everything together. This will just help your makeup stay in place and just kind of make it more even. And you can just use this alone with concealer if you don't like to wear a lot, but I truly believe that foundation protects your skin from the environment. And if you wanna prevent aging, you wanna wear a foundation. Um, and we have a CC cream that's awesome, that's really great, it's got SPF. Like I said, we've got the Luminous, um, Luminous Foundation, Luminous Wear Liquid, and then we have the Matte Wear. So if you want more of a matte look, you would do the Matte Wear. If you want a little bit of a glow, which is what I want, because I feel like my skin's dry right now, I'm use the Limit Luminous. And if you're a mom on the go, you don't like foundation much at all, you want to get our CC cream, it's great. And it's got awesome buildable coverage. Okay, I'm just using our Sunny Spice for blush. And this is one of our old blush brushes. I absolutely love it, it's one of my favorite. And I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. It's just a great color for any skin tone. Love Sunny Spice, just easy color. And you can put your blush up here, but today I felt like just putting it right here, right here on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, and then I'm gonna take our deep brown eyeliner, which is great. This will be fun, putting on eyeliner with you guys here. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but let's see. Let's see how I can do this. So you wanna go from larger to smaller, okay? And you guys, I'm all about simplicity and making things look simple. So I hope that I make things look simple to you. And makeup is art. So really there's no one right way or wrong way to do it, um, but it's it. everybody does it a little bit differently and there's no wrong or right way. So you just have to do what's right for you. So I actually, I can't do it like that. I have to hold down my eyelash. I know that's so weird. So I go from larger to smaller. I don't know why, this is how I have to do it. It's so weird, but that's what I have to do. So the deep brown is great because it really pops the blue eyes and just is a great, more subdued, everyday look where it doesn't look so intense. I love the liquid black for night and the regular black, our, our black is amazing. All of our colors are awesome, they're so awesome. And it doesn't look cakey or heavy and it lasts long. And so you don't enclose your eyes, you don't wanna go all the way in. Oh, I make it look easy, yay, so good. I'm so happy, that's the goal. Okay, so you're just doing, going from, the outer quarter, about three quarters of the way in. And y'all, what I love about our products, they're not only amazing, but they're affordable. Like they're affordable. I mean, I think this is like 10 or, this is $12. Don't quote me on it, but I think, I think it's $12. I mean, it's crazy and it lasts long and it's just as good as Chanel or any of those lines. It's just as good but you're saving a whole lot of money and you're allowing moms to stay home with their babies and support direct sales and network marketing. So that's huge. And what I love about our company, what I love about our company and what drew me into our company 17 years ago is our philosophy of God first, family second, and career third. And I think that, you know, faith is what matters to me. 
and a lot of people and I love that I don't have to apologize for praying at a corporate event or you know I can put my values first and that to me is super important so that is the deep brown do y'all agree okay and then normally I wanted to keep it low on the products because I could go a little crazy with the products. I love our products, but if I want to go like crazy, I'll do a lash curler, I'll do a lash primer, but today I'm just going to use our Lash Love Mascara, which I think is great. It lengthens and separates the eyes. And so you just want to get it right at the base of the lash, right at the base. And you want to do wiggle, 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 wiggle. I know. I'm not even dressed today, but you know what? This is real. So what are some of your new year goals? What are some of your new year goals right here? What maybe one of your goals are for the new year? What is one of your goals? I want to hear. And a lot of times I'll put on like false lashes too. You know, I'll either use our Ardell or Virgo Babe. And if you buy Virgo Babe, if you use the Dacia code, you'll get 10% off, um, by the way. So I love putting on lashes. I think, you know, I love the way that fake lashes look. They're awesome. But when you take them off, they take away your lashes. And um, yeah. Okay, directorship. I love it. That's awesome. So, you know, but my everyday go-to is our lash love. But if I want to like go out at night, one of my goals is to hold a fundraiser for sending bed nets from malaria. Wow, that's really intense. You go. Wow. It's hard for me to read in here and do this. But anyway, yeah, so I will use lash love in the day. And if I want to really pop my eyes, I'll use our Dell 110s or I'll use the Virago Babe. And like I said, the code that you use would be Daisha um, and you'll get 10% off um, on the lashes. You're gonna be a sales director, that's awesome. Okay, um, I lost my train of thought. Where am I? Oh my gosh, brows, super important. And I forgot my brush to bring over here, so forgive me. Normally I would brush my brows up <laughs> up and over. I love our brunette um, eye pencil. It's amazing. So you just want to start here at the top and just do small little strokes. And I thread my eyebrows. I don't wax because I feel like anything to prevent wrinkling, the threading supposedly is a little bit better. So I do that like once every four to six weeks. Awesome. Oh, you want to start a cooking blog? That's awesome. Good for you. My husband loves to cook. I like to bake. I love making breakfast foods and baking, but I'm definitely not a cook. My husband cooks awesome. So you're just doing small little strokes. I start at the top, right at the top, and I just do small little strokes. And you want to make sure that it doesn't go outside, outside of um, like a good rule of thumb is just to take something like that. And you want to go right to that line. Mason, do you think you could watch that somewhere else? Mei Mei, can you go in the other room for a second? Thank you. Okay. Eyebrows are everything, everything. And remember, I'm keeping it to 12 products. But if I was going to really pop my eyes for nighttime, I would use our volumizing, our new volumizing brow tint, which is insane. I use um, dark blonde for the day and brunette for night. I love it. Okay. I'm using our medium nude liner. Love. You want to start making a little V. Go uh, make a little V. And then um, I am using our Mauve Moment um, Gel Matte Lipstick, which I love. And it's just a really pretty, like, nude pink um, everyday color. Hello. Hello. 
and that's it. So we're done. So literally I used 12 products. So I'll go back really quick. I used the Beach Blonde Cream Eyeshadow. I used the um, Cashmere Haze, which kind of looks like this um, in the crease. I used Deep Brown Eyeliner with the Lash Love Mascara, Brunette Eye Pencil, Sunny Spice Blush, Beige 3 Luminous um, Foundation, and then I did the Light Ivory Concealer, a little bit of bronzer to contour. I did um, Ivory 2 Mineral Powder, and I think that covers it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today and I hope you learned a little bit. And like I said, it was very impromptu and last minute. Sorry, it was a little unprofessional, but that's okay. That's real, right? So I hope you guys have a good close to your 2018 and a great start to 2019. Don't forget to do your goal posters and your vision board and really just take a moment to get quiet and really visualize what you want for yourself this year because anything can happen. Dreams to truly do come true. So I love you guys. Happy new year if I don't talk to you before the new year. Bye.